I don't know. I can't tell you how many. I don't know one single conventional farmer that I know of that eats their own food. <laughs> you know, I've just right. recently met a guy in, in the Brazos Valley that has this huge turkey and chicken farm, and he won't eat them. Why? Because he knows. He wouldn't eat it, you know. Because he knows what? What's he doing? He knows the condition that these animals live in. Yeah. He knows the genetic freaks that these meat birds are, you know, they can't even stand on their own two legs and can't live over nine months or nine weeks because their internal organs can't even, aren't even fully formed and can't handle it. They're just freaks of nature. You talking about chickens? Yeah, yeah chickens. And then, and then to not to mention all the, the feed that the chickens eat, you know, genetically modified corn and soy. I mean, it's just, it's not food fit for consumption. Wow. And these farmers that are part of that prog program, they know it. <laughs> as much as they won't even put it on their own, serve it to their own family. You know, you're right. I'm, I've been talking to farmers out here too. I've been talking to ranchers. They do know it, but at the same time, they got to make a living too, right? They're, they're under all this competitive pressure. If they try to do it the right way, the healthy way, they're going to be out of business because their neighbor is doing it that way. The only way I think small farmers, small ranchers can do it today is by selling direct to the consumer. You know, yeah. why would these guys out here growing hay and growing cows just to maintain their ag exemption? They take it into the sales barn and they get maybe $500 a head. You know, when you can spend a little bit more time, you know, do it right, 100% on grass, sell it direct to consumer, and you can turn that same cow into $2,500. Yeah. You know? And so maybe, uh, and that's the same way with the way I take my vegetables. If I wanted to sell wholesale and go that route, I would have to pr produce 75% more than I do now to make the same amount of income. Uh -huh. Why would I want to work that hard? Why would I want to turn this into such a factory system? You know? right. Again, we're after the pursuit of happiness. You know, yeah. We want to enjoy what we're doing in our life here, not turn it into some factory of food that we wouldn't even be you know, happy to eat on our own plates. Well said. Yeah. It's Farmer Brad, everybody, um, here in Texas. What's your website again? Homesweetfarm.com. Thanks for coming.